Infinite Geometric Series. Good day everyone. This is Teacher Astrid to give you another lesson of Pinoy Math. Our objectives for today are number one, to identify infinite geometric series. Number two, to find the sum of the terms of an infinite geometric sequence. And last but not the least, appreciate and apply infinite geometric series to real-life situations. We have studied that geometric sequence is a sequence wherein you are multiplying a constant number to obtain the next terms. The constant number being multiplied is called the common ratio which we denote by R. If the sequence is increasing, then the common ratio is greater than 1. If it is decreasing, then the common ratio is between 0 and positive 1. But, if it has alternating signs, then the common ratio is less than 0 or negative. We also learned that that we will be able to obtain the end term of a geometric sequence using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the quantity r raised to the n minus 1, where a sub n is equal to the end term, a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms. Furthermore, we learned that a geometric mean is a term between two terms of a geometric sequence. If you are to find only one geometric mean between two numbers, then it is equal to the square root of the product of the two numbers. Take note that there are two square roots of a positive number. One is positive and the other is negative. However, for a negative number, there is no real square root. In example number 1, to find the geometric mean between 3 and 27, we just get the square root of the product of 3 and 27. Here, the possible geometric mean is either 9 or negative 9. But if you are to find more than one geometric mean, you are to get the common ratio and multiply it to the first term and to the succeeding terms to get all the needed geometric means. For getting the common ratio, you have the formula n minus 1 root of a sub n divided by a sub 1, where r is the common ratio, n is the number of terms, a sub 1 is the first term, and a sub n is the n term. In example number 2, we are to insert 6 geometric means between 2 and 256. Substituting n equals 8, a sub 1 equals 2, and a sub n equals 256, we get r is equal to 2. Therefore, the common ratio is 2. Multiplying r to a sub 1 to get a sub 2. Then multiplying a sub 2 to r to get a sub 3. And repeating the same process to get all the geometric means, the new sequence will be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256. We also learned from the preceding lesson that geometric series is the indicated sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. It is given by the formula S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus R to the n all over 1 minus R where S of n is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence, A sub 1 is the first term, R is the common ratio, 
and n is the number of terms. Today, we will be studying about an infinite geometric series. An infinite geometric series is the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. This series would have no last term. The general form of the infinite geometric series is a sub 1 plus a sub 1r plus a sub 1r to the second power plus a sub 1r to the third power and so on and so forth where a sub 1 is the first term and r is the common ratio. We can find the sum of all finite geometric series. But in the case of an infinite geometric series, when the common ratio is greater than 1, the terms in the sequence will get larger and larger, and if you add the larger numbers, you won't get a final answer. The only possible answer would be infinity. So we don't deal with a common ratio greater than 1 for an infinite geometric series. If the common ratio R lies between negative 1 to positive 1, we can have the sum of an infinite geometric series. That is, the sum exists for R which has an absolute value between 0 and 1. From the formula for the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence, S of n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus R to the n all over 1 minus R. When we replace n with infinity and R has an absolute value that is less than 1, then R to the n will be approaching 0. Therefore, the value inside the parentheses becomes 1. Therefore, for an infinite geometric series, we can use the formula S of infinity is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R, provided that 1 minus R is not equal to 0. Here, S of infinity is the sum. A sub 1 is the first term, and R is the common ratio which has an absolute value which is greater than 0 but less than 1. Example number 1. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence 20, 10, 5, 5 over 2, 5 over 4, 5 over 8, and so on. Here, the first term, a sub 1, is equal to 20. The common ratio, r, is equal to 1 half, since 10 divided by 20 is equal to 1 half. Substituting the values to the formula, we have s of infinity is equal to 20 all over 1 minus 1 half. Simplifying, we have the summation of the infinite geometric sequence as 40. Example number 2. A ball is dropped from a height of 24 meters and as it reaches the ground, it rebounds to three-fourths of the previous height. Find the distance traveled by the ball before it comes to rest. After falling from a height of 24 meters, it rebounds to three-fourths of the previous height and falls from the same height as the rebound. The height of the first downward fall is 24 meters, while the first rebound is 18 meters. The common ratio is equal to 3 fourths. Substituting the values, the sum of the downward distances is 96 meters, while the sum of the rebounds 
is 72 meters. Getting the sum of the two distances, we have the total distance of 168 meters. Generalization What is an infinite geometric series? Correct. It is the sum of the terms of an infinite geometric sequence. Next, what is the formula for getting the sum of an infinite geometric sequence whose common ratio has an absolute value that is between 0 and 1? Correct. You can use the formula S of infinity is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R provided that 1 minus r is not equal to 0. S of infinity is the sum. A sub 1 is the first term. And r has a value, absolute value, that is between 0 and 1. Try answering this one. Find the sum of the geometric sequence 12, 3, 3 fourths, and so on. If your answer is 16, then you are correct. The common ratio is 1 fourth. How about this one? In the infinite geometric series, 3 plus 9 plus 27, and so on and so forth, what is the sum? Correct. The answer is infinity. Another one. What is the sum of the terms of the sequence 15, 10, 20 over 3, and so on and so forth? Here, the first term is 15, and the common ratio is 2 over 3. If your answer is 45, then you are correct. That ends our lesson. Again, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more lessons from Pinoy Math. Happy learning!